You know, if it isn't stuff going on with our lives, it's stuff going on in the lives of our support people. Camp Adventures! Good afternoon. So, you know, it's Monday, uh, and usually comes today. And she comes Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and around 11. Uh, and, you know, 11 o'clock came and went. And sometimes she's a little late. She comes, will come around 11.30 and whatnot. So I'm pretty patient. You know, I don't have anything time sensitive really going on ever. And if I do, she knows well ahead of time. So I'm just chilling and chilling and. Pretty soon I notice that it's one o'clock. Okay, let's send her a text. Maybe she forgot about me, which could happen. And I sent her a text asking her, oh, so were you going to come in and help me today? And she said, oh, uh, my mom died this morning and I have the flu and I'm in the ER. I called Scott. So, you know, Scott, my PCA supervisor, and he just neglected to tell me, which is really nice. I don't know when she, um, <coughs> excuse me, when she called him, but I'm assuming, you know, sometime before uh, I texted her, so would have been real nice for him to tell me that, oh, your staff isn't going to be coming in today. Not that he knows that she works for me today, but, you know, generally, you would think if a supervisor was told that, oh, yeah, your person isn't going to be coming in, or, you know, is sick and, like, all this stuff's going on, especially with the flu, being that you have no idea how long the flu is going to last, you would think they would call you up right away and be like, yeah, so I don't know if you know, so-and-so is working for you today, but they won't be coming in probably for a while. Yeah, that would have been nice. I wouldn't have been sitting around on my butt, waiting forever. But whatever. So, uh, I'm going to go out and get something for Ann. I don't know what. I don't know where. Because right now, at this moment, I don't have a car. Because, uh, you know, with Zach's new car not being able to take the, his old hand controls until he gets the new ones put in, uh, he took my car to take Mel and himself to school today. Because otherwise they didn't have any way to get there. So I was more than willing to let him borrow my car. But now... I'm stuck here and can't do anything. You know, I might push on down to Walgreens and maybe I'll go to the <coughs> excuse me, maybe I'll go to the antique store if they happen to be open. But now Mel's calling me. So that was just Mel calling me. Uh, yeah, you're recording. Um, she was just calling me. Because uh, she just got my text and wanting to know what was going on with Ann and whatnot, and finding out about Zach. And she now realizes that she uh, would be stuck there to help. He's done at 5 o'clock. You know, just things couldn't get more flippin' complicated in our lives. You know, it just. Pain in the tuchus. Let me tell you about it. But now I'm just gonna chill. And. I don't know. Do something. Alright, so here's. How's it going? Here's the deal with her right now. She can't do anything over her. I can't do my homework. 
because the reading program was the cat ran up the tree. The dog went blah 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 blah. She can't understand it. She'll hear like the bark went up barking. Special. It's not really special. It's more like thank you, MSU. I don't know if it's VR who got the computer that doesn't work with anything, or if it's MSU who can't scan a textbook onto a disc. I vote a little MSU of both. can scan a textbook onto a disc, and I vote that VR just you know, it's didn't VR. get anything to you in a decent amount of time. So now you're extra cramped with. Yes. Everything not working with the added thing that you don't have a chair that works with the added part that the shower chair is broken with the added part. We don't have a vehicle with the added part that. <laughs> I really want to leave, but I, I was, see, I originally was going to ask if you wanted to like go to Big Square or something. But then we looked at her back. And I don't even have to look at my bank account. <laughs> I have thirteen dollars. I'm tempted to just do it. So do we have thirteen dollars and three cents between the two of us? Nice. We're doing it. I don't care. This is enough. Oh. Uh, we just got done eating. eating. I don't care. We're not you can drop us off. You, we're not going to be able to afford Victor's Square. So yeah. we're here at Target just leaving. And uh, we'll just have to vlog this real quick. I'll explain it later. Well, I know it's kind of hard to see, but that right there is Zach's car. Former car. Former car. There you can see the crack bumper. Uh, and they are going, they are selling it for $9.50. He feels happy about that. It's gone. He's, he's gone from his life. <laughs> but it was a good car. <laughs> it got us from A to B. It, it, it got, Most days. yeah, it got him around. It took some licking, kept on ticking. <laughs> now we're gonna go because there's probably cameras wondering what the fuck we're doing. Alright, so now that I have a second to explain, um, I didn't really want to say anything, take a lot of time at Target, because, yeah, I don't like Target. But, uh, that, oh, excuse me. That electric cart in Target. Uh, if you go back and look at the front end of that electric cart, there were uh, horizontal wheels along the sides down towards the bottom supports that hold up the basket. And basically, what those are for is those are for when stupid people that don't know how to run those run into things instead of uh, necessarily catching them and knocking them over uh, like big racks and whatnot. They'll just kind of roll and kind of push and slide out of the way. That's what those are for. That makes us laugh because most of, uh, you know, Disabled people have practice with that kind of stuff and don't knock things over unless they mean to. And so that just makes us laugh. It's just funny. So, what? Ugh, I hate dude. Ugh. I'm tired. I'm gonna go to sleep. So, good night. Camp Adventures. Making our way one push at a time.